हेलो गाइस हाय हाउ आर यू आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो इन टुडेस लेक्चर व्हाट वी विल डिस्कस वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग थ्री सिंपल ट्रिक्स टू क्रिएट डीएफ so since a dfa questions are dependent upon the number of input symbols given in a particular question so we have to design dfa according to our requirement hello guys i hope all of you are doing fine in today's lecture we will be discussing three simple tricks to create to create dfa now as we all know dfa is deterministic finite automata there are various conditions dfa has to follow to, uh, to be created but there are simple tricks uh, in which uh, the dfa can be created of any sort of problem uh, so we will be uh, solving from simpler problem to advanced problem and then try to find out how dfa can be constructed but there are three simple tricks for the same part as well so let's begin with our very first question the first question says that create dfa that accepts a string ab now the question is given to us that create dfa that accepts a string ab it means ab string must be present and obviously the input symbols that are given over here are a and b now so how this question can be solved now to solve this particular question we have to understand that ab string is a important string over a ab string is actually an important string that must be present in all the strings of uh, of uh, combination of a's and b's but ab must be present right so what are the three simple tricks that basically can basically create this dfa the first simple trick is create a generalize automata i'll, I'll explain you what generalize automata is the second important trick in this particular question is uh, we have we have to create a generalized automata we have to make sure every state has a single outgoing transition with a and b this is the second trick that we must accept right and the third important one out of it is that to make sure the right answers get accepted and also make sure wrong answers must not get accepted now uh, these three simple tricks will help you to create the automata so let's just figure out how these tricks work so first trick was create a generalized automata generalized automata is is actually an automata that is based on the condition that is given to you the condition on the question that is given to you is create dfa that accepts a string ab it means you just create a simple a q1 simple b q2 that is our requirement initially a must be accepted after a b must be accepted 
what about others we will see later but this is a generalized automata even if the question that is given to you that create a dfa that accepts a a b so again you create q not then you give a transition to a q1 give a transition to a and q2 give a transition to b to q3 so you create a generalized automata this is first trick second trick is that you must make sure that every state has single outgoing transition with every state has single outgoing transition with a and b that means see over here q not has a transition with a fine but q not doesn't have the transition with b so make sure q not has a transition with b over here q1 has a transition with b fine but q1 does not have a transition with a we have to find out Sim similarly q2 ha has does not actually have a transition with a and b both so it means we have to create a transition of q2 with a and right second uh, the third trick is the third important trick is write answers acceptance means ab is a right answer a ab is a right answer because it is containing ab b ab is a right answer b b ab is also a right answer a b double a is also a right answer so these all are right answers why because they are containing string a b between them and they clearly it was told that wrong answers must not get accepted so what are the wrong answers the wrong answers are like a a a a is actually a wrong answer it should not get accepted why because it is not containing a b uh, b b is also a wrong answer creating the dfa faster so how we are going to work about that so just let's just have the question the question was create dfa that accepts that accepts the string ab so we created a generalized automata right we have given a to this q1 we have given b to this and q2 that is a generalized automata see q0 has a transition with a it does not have a transition with b so it means we have to create a transition with b q1 has a transition with b but q1 does not have a transition with a so we have to create this even q2 does not have a transition of a and b so how we are going to create simple q1 has a transition with a we must create a transition with b so where there are various possibilities if i put b over here definitely i can put b over here now q not has a transition with a and b both but putting that i will get a string as b as well as b i have already told you my third trick the third trick is wrong answers must not be getting accepted because bb does not contain ab so it means this is definitely a wrong option there is another option that directly you put b but this actually totally you know the definition of dfa is totally prohibited over here why because you are directly skipping the state this is not finite wrong option there is only one option left that you should give b to this now b to this means that there are many strings i can accept from this one b from this side one a from this side and one b from this side i am accepting b a b even two b's from this side i am accepting 
AB. Even I'm accepting AB guys. Why? Because if I don't take B over here, because loop means any number of anything. Even any number of Bs means zero number of Bs as well. Right? Now we have Q not having a transition with now I'm writing these three states and I'm just checking how many uh, how many transitions they are having. Now Q not has is having a transition of A and B. Q1 is already having a transition with B and Q2 does not have any transition still. So I have to figure it out how to or uh, how to get that. So Q1. Now it has a transition with B, does not have a transition with A. There are many possibilities. If I put A over here, so what does that mean? That means I am accepting the string A as well as A. It means I am accepting two A's, which is wrong. Wrong answers must not be accepted. Fine. Right now there is a possibility I can put A over here as well. Now, guys, we can go backwards in the loop, but let's see how this whole thing folds up. Now, I'm I'm accepting all the right answers. I'm I'm rejecting all the wrong answers, but I must accept all the right answers also. So I'm I'm taking a string q not to q one with a, q one to q not with a also, and again q not to q one with a. It means I'm writing q not given a, it goes to q one. Again, Q1 is given A, it goes to Q0. Again, I'm putting Q0 A, it is going to Q1. And I go to accepting state with Q1 given B, it goes to Q2. Now, what answer I have accepted? Triple A B. See, triple A B is a right answer, not a wrong answer because it is containing A B. But I have to check whether I get double a b from this whether i'm getting double a from this unfortunately no minimum three a's one a second a third a and then b minimum three a's are getting accepted double a b there is no chance it means it is skipping some right answers also so this is also the wrong option so i have to skip this step this is a wrong step so I have to skip this step and I have to still get the right possible step. So guys, there is no option left. I cannot go backwards. I cannot go forwards. So there is one option left that put a loop of A over here. Now from this, I can accept many answers. How? I can get B, A, A, B also means I'm B, A, A, B. I'm taking one A from this side. I'm accepting B, A, B also because if I don't take any A's from this, I can get many answers. I can get A, A, B also. It means A, A, B, which was not possible in the previous particular uh, step. Now it is getting accepted over here. So this is perfectly fine. Now comes the concept of we have Q1, which is also having a transition with A now. Right now, what we have to do now, what we have to do, uh, we have Q1 with transition of A and B, Q1 having a transition of B and A. And what about Q2? Now, I can try many steps like uh, from Q2, I can give A over here, guys. I can give A, but I see the important thing is if I give A to Q1. My answer will always end with A, B only. What if I want to end with A also like over here, if I give A in this particular part, I will get A, B, A, B as an answer fine. But I want to get A, B, triple A. How will I get this answer? I have got one A and then one B. Then the moment I have given A, I'm ending with B. The moment I'm giving A, I'm ending with A. I'm not ending with triple A. It means this is also a wrong step. I cannot give A over here. So I must have to uh, amend my ways. Again, if I give A over here. Now, this is also a restricted answer. Why? Because I'm always ending with A, A, B. I still want to get A, B, triple A. Will I get that? unfortunately not why because if i get a b over here i will get one a from this side one a from this side 
even if i get two a's from this side it's still ending with b the condition was it must accept a string ab wrong so there is another option i can try uh, with b if i put b over here there is always a restriction that i'm ending with a b b b b b again this is wrong if i put b over here as well that ensures that i am ending with b a b again i want to get a b triple a i will not get that why because i will get a b b a b always because my accepting state is always getting a b in the last wrong of so guys we don't have any other option left we have already got a b which was the requirement but we must accept all the right answers as well so for that thing i am putting the uh, loop of a comma b the loop of a comma b you can even note down means any number of a's any number of b's and any combinations of a's and b's means anything you want to have you want to get a b triple a Firstly, you will get one A, then one B, and take three A's from this. Perfect. I want to get A B B B A B. So I'll get one A from this side, one B from this side. Condition solved. I'll get three B's from this, and then A B after. So this is how you create a DFA, and these were three simple tricks, and this is actually the right answer. i hope this question will be clear to you if you will have any sort of doubt just post it in the comment section now uh, we can have many questions like create dfa that accepts aab again what do you do create a generalized automata i'll just create a q1 another a q2 one b now i must check uh, the transitions of q0 q1 q2 q3 q0 is having a transition of a q1 is having a transition of a q2 has a transition with b q3 does not have any transition so we have to make sure that this happens now uh, we must again have all right answers accepted but all wrong answers must not be accepted this, this is a third trick so how will we go about it so q not is given a i cannot give b directly over here why because if i give b i will get b a b b a b is a wrong answer because it is not containing a a b uh, it contains or uh, the question can be it contains a a b or it accepts a a b so a a b is not getting accepted in this better you write contains right so this is also wrong i cannot skip here because i cannot skip a state and i cannot directly go to q3 directly because this is dfa everything is determined properly so what we have to do in that particular scenario what we can do is that we can create a a loop of b over here the loop of b means that i can have many good strings like b a a b i can have a loop of uh, b that also takes a a b also why because i have not given any b's i can also accept a string b b a a b so these all strings are accepted and this is the right way to go and we have got u not having a transition with a and b both now comes to q1 now comes to q1 so q1 all already has a transition with a so it can have a transition with b if i i, I can try if i put a transition of b directly with q q2 now from this process i am accepting a then b then b 
it means abb string is uh, the answer from this particular answer clearly a wrong answer why because it is not containing aab wrong i cannot skip further why because it's a deterministic finite automata cannot be done but i can go backwards or i can even try to have a loop let's try a loop of p on q1 so guys if i put a loop of b on q1 we have to be very certain here if i put a, a loop of b on this now in this process i am accepting a wrong answer how one a from this side one b from this side one a from this side one b from this side it means i am accepting ab ab what do you mean by that clearly that is a wrong string and it is clearly a wrong string why because it is not containing a a b clearly a wrong way i must not put a loop of this so i must stop this particular process now i can try one thing there is only one option left that i must give a loop of b on this now in this process i am at least getting some right answers wrong answers are not getting accepted i am getting b a b b b and again i am putting a a b over here so that is right so I, i can get all there was no other option but to give a transition of b from q1 to q0 now q1 also have a transition with b now q1 task is over now it's all about q2 now now uh, if i have to solve q2 uh, i can directly give because q2 has a transition with b right uh, q2 has a transition with b i can put a over here if i put a over here what answers i am getting i am getting one a another a and another a i am getting triple a is triple a a right answer obviously not we have to skip this uh or i can try this thing i can give a over here so there is a possibility i can give a over here it may be right but i want to get answer of triple ab triple ab is right because it is containing ab i am starting from q0 to q1 with a right then from q1 to q2 i'm going with a again i'm going from q2 to q1 with a and from q1 to q0 with a and from q2 i'm going with b with q3 it means this a this a this a this a and this b so i'm ending up at final state but unfortunately i am accepting i want to accept triple a b instead i am getting four a's b it means this answer is not giving this particular answer if i have a loop from q2 to q1 it is not giving triple a b unfortunately which is wrong so it means all right answers are not getting accepted so this also can be a wrong so there is no other option left even i try this thing there is another uh, there are two options left only so let's just try those options i'm putting a loop from q2 to q0 with a and i still want to accept triple ab i want to accept triple ab because for me it is a right string i will get c from q0 to q1 i'm going with a from q1 to q2 i'm going with a fine from q2 to q0 i'm going with a and again from q0 to q1 i'm going with a and from q1 to q2 i'm going with a and then b see it is accepting minimum 5 a's again triple a b is not solved again this is also a wrong step so there is only one option left only one option left that option is put a loop of a over here now i will i will accept triple ab how one a from this side second a from this side third a from this side and then b triple ab is getting accepted 
so this is how your question solves and this is also a correct way now q2 also has a transition in the beginning see you have accepted triple ab or double ab when double ab is achieved anything that comes after it we don't have a concern so it means uh, if i have to put a loop of a comma b over here this is absolutely a right step why because i can achieve anything that comes after my string is accepted i can give triple a's i can give triple b's it's up to me right i need not to put any a's and b's on this because then i will have my restriction with ending with ab or ending with bb so that i don't want i want anything that comes after it that's welcome why because double ab is accepted i'm accepting 1a 1a 1b minimum aab is required even triple a 4a's must contain aab which is there i must put simple loop of a comma b over here means any number of a's any number of b's any combinations of a's and b's now my task is achieved and even wrong answers are not getting accepted and right answers are getting accepted this is a dfa that accepts aab now let's do the question number 3 and i'll be doing the question number 3 uh, with a not condition uh, like we have to create dfa that does not accept that does not accept or i that does not end with a it means ending must not be there with a a any ending is accepted apart from ending with aa so it means i have to create a generalized automata generalized automata is that it must not end with aa so i'm writing q1 i'm writing a and i'm writing q2 guys guys just see q2 i'm not ending with q2 why because i have not made it as a final state so i've just created a generalized automata where q2 is not a final state so if it does not end with a a so what are the possible answers it means it can end with null null means uh, even if you don't give anything to it it can end it should not end with double a it can end with single a also it can end with single b also it can end with a b also right it can end with double b also zero length string one length string two length string even it can end with ba also it can end with ab b also b a b also but it should not end with double a so if it is accepting a null so null means initial state what do you mean by null null means you haven't given anything that acceptance is done this is your first answer which is getting accepted single a single a means q not when it is given single a it goes to q1 it means that is also getting accepted now guys just see just write the transitions q not has a transition with a q1 has a transition with b and q2 does not have any transition so we have to see so q not has a transition with a see uh, we must make sure that q not also has a transition with b if i put b over here that is fine we want b as an answer but over here we also want ba to be accepted but unfortunately ba is not getting accepted over here see over here you have written b as an answer so one b from this side one a from this side q2 is not a final state unfortunately what i have to do is i have to skip this step so there is only one option left that put a loop of b over here now this will solve many answers why it will solve single b as an answer it will solve double b as an answer two b is if you take from q not it will solve ba as an answer also one b from this side one a from this side this q1 is also a final state so now q not has a transition of a and b both what about q1 
Q1 has a transition with uh, actually Q1 has a transition with A, not B. Was having a transition with A. How it will have a transition with B? So it's uh, again, guys. We have to be very particular when we are writing any sort of answers because we must make sure that wrong answers must not be accepted. Right. So how we are going to go with this? If I put B over here. A loop of B. That means I'm accepting A B, right? I want to accept B A B. I'm accepting. I'm accepting A B B is fine, right? But this is one possibility. If I put B over here, what does that mean? I'm accepting B A A B A B B A B. But I want to end with A also. This answer is getting accepted as B A B, which we required. Fine, but I want to end with A. I want to I want to end with B A B A. B A B A. We are ending with that, but I want to end with double A. I cannot end, but I want this answer. This answer is right. B A. We have got B A. Then one B over here, and then there are two A's, and then one B. So how we are we are going to go with this? We have to be very particular when we are taking any sort of options, right? So over here, I can do one thing, or over here. See, uh, I want to get A B A B is an answer over here. I'll get A over here. I put B over. Here. Let's see. So what happens? So I may not get this particular answer from this Y because I'm getting A B and there is no loop of A B after. So unfortunately, this step is also a wrong step, right? So I must put B over here. So in this process, I will get A B A B as an answer. One A one B one A one B. Q no Q one also has a transition with B. Now we have a very important transition to cover with Q two. Now, uh, guys, uh, this is uh, one thing. Uh, I want to get this particular answer. One want to get this particular answer. A B A B triple A and then B. This answer is also possible with certain particular facts, but again we just have to be pretty sure uh, sure of what we are doing. Now Q two has a transition with with nothing, so it means I need to create a transition of Q two with something. Now if I put A over here, so what happens? I can end with triple A, one A, one A, one A, one A, four A's, and it is ending with uh, triple A, one A, one A, another A, fourth A, fifth A go goes to Q one. Clearly a wrong step, right? So Q two does not have. If I put it over here again, it is ending with triple A, one A from this side, one A from this side, one A from this side. It means three A's, one A, one A, and third A, triple A. Triple A means it is ending with double A. A wrong option. So there is no other option left but put A over. Now the real question comes: Where should I put B? So over here, guys, I put B over here. Now, in this way, I will get A, A, B, A, B. Fine, we are ending with B, no issues. But if you see over here, I am always ending with A B. What if I want to end with single A? I want to get A B A. Will I get from this answer? Just said A. I have gone A, then B, then A. A B is also right answer. We are getting A B A fine. But what if I want to get 
डबल ए बी वन ए फ्रॉम दिस साइड वन ए फ्रॉम दिस साइड वन बी फ्रॉम दिस साइड एंड वन ए फ्रॉम दिस साइड अनफॉर्चुनेटली दिस इज सी दिस इज करेक्ट फॉर मोस्ट केसेज वाई बिकॉज इट इज एंडिंग विद ए एज वेल एज बी इट इज ऑलवेज एंडिंग विद ए बी बट आई वॉन्ट टू एंड विद सिंगल ए ऑल्सो तो सिंगल ए इज नेवर अ पॉसिबिलिटी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर आंसर सो इट मीन्स आई मस्ट पुट बी ओवर now b over here will mean that i will get a then a then a single b from this side and then it is ending with a yes all answers are getting accepted b, b a b is also getting accepted a b a b triple a b c 1 a 1 b 1 a 1 b 1 a 2 a is from this side and then b it is ending with that this is a question of ending with double a i hope uh, this lecture was useful try to think three simple tricks were first we have to make sure uh, that we need to create a generalized automata second we must make sure that every state has equal transition with a and b q not has a transition with ab q1 also has a transition with ab even q2 also has a transition with ab and last A wrong answers must not get accepted and right answers all right answers all you cannot skip all the right answer you have to uh, accept all the right answers so thank you very very much